And we are back. Yeah, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. I have cheese. <laughs> so I'm eating cheese whilst I'm playing this. <laughs> Extra fancy. So I'm gonna go to the very edge, because the spots along here. Midnight snack? Oh yeah. I mean, it's not quite midnight, but almost there. Ah, oh, you dick. I guess I can shoot it and then just... Get it later. Timing. I've already gotten quite a few horns, so I'm going to try and just get a standard scale. <sighs> Hopefully that lands. No, not quite. I need to get closer. <sighs> really? Oh, this, this sucks. Hang on. Try and do a transfer. How am I missing? Thank you. Alright, that, that's fine. Still on high ground. Still on high ground. Where'd the scale go? Over there. Alright, it's fine. As long as I didn't fall. I guess I can do one on this side. Yeah. And there's that. There's there's a few on this side. Yeah, I don't know if I'll get any more adventurous in this cheese. Because the thing is, if I go any more adventurous... And I don't like the cheese, it's like, well, that, that went to waste. I think I'd have to be eating with someone that is adventurous with cheese, and then it's like, well, if I don't like it, they might. Or they might already like it. Then it's no harm, no foul. But I think these are nice. Need like a cheese tasting. There might be some delis that might oblige to that. I didn't really go anything special. Anywhere special for it. Gria is actually pretty nice on its own.
Was that my first time having that cheese? Which one, Gruyere? Yeah, I think so. Unless I've had it by accident at some other time. Like, <laughs> I haven't really been in many social situations where they've had cheese platters, and in the ones that they have, they were generally like your standard Australian cheeses. So, you know, Colby, um, this, this cheese that they just call tasty cheese, cheddar, or like the American cheese. Nothing really beyond that. Outside of that, like, Italian places do their buffalo mozzarella, so that's probably the fanciest cheese I would have had prior to this. That sounds good. It is good. I usually put olive oil and herbs on it. Okay, the thing is down there. No, no, turn. Oh, Ooh. that was worrying. Okay, that's the windmill I'm looking for. I think, right? Yeah. I only got a few pieces of it, but I kind of want more. But nah, this is not. Because too much dairy is bad for you. I went to university with someone that became lactose intolerant because they had too much dairy. It's like, it can be one of those things you can develop by not having enough dairy, or you could have it by having too much dairy. Isn't that fun? It is good. Uh, I mean, surely it would have... Oh... I guess, no, the advantage to climbing this is I can glide across to the other side. So I'll do it. There's a shelf here. It's not here. Let's reverse. Okay. 
I need to go collect the scale. Ah, oh, it's on it's on the high ground sort of thing. Okay. At least everyone knows now what tw what the twiggy sticks look like on a on a plate when I showed the plate. So now the the less mysterious <laughs> just meat sticks. the play didn't you it mustn't have been around when I showed it um hold on I won't show it again on stream but I'll get the image link uh, where is it it's not exactly the best photo either but you know and for reference I didn't eat it in one sitting <laughs> it's just like I think I was picking at it at three different times. Once during the night that I made it, and then the other night... Well, the next day I was eating bits of it, so... But I was like, you know what, I'll make it loaded and then it's just shot off. Anyway. But you know, there's no veggies on it, there's no fruit, it's just not nah, meat and cheese. What, you want veggies? Fuck that. Okay. There we go. But yeah, the sticks are the twiggy sticks. They're just sliced up. They're usually... longer. I cut them into thirds, so that's a frame of reference. Okay, where else do we need to go? There, but that's pretty far up. At that point, I may as well ride the horse. So fancy. It's not really that fancy. It's just... <laughs> Twiggy sticks are not fancy <laughs> in the slightest. Like, really, if I wanted to be f fancy, the Twiggy Sticks should have been, like, uh, a prosciutto or something like that. That would have been fancy. But I love me some Twiggy Sticks. Just meat sticks. God, this thing's relentless. Go what, dude? All right, that's two hundred. How far did he check? Do you know what the worst part is? I have a triple speed buff. I have a super fast speed buff, and he's still caught up. They're, they're just they're so annoying. The lizards. Where am I? Where is here? Good. It's so unbelievably obnoxious. Hey, Messiah. How's, uh, the plumbing job? 
Did you get Mario and Luigi or did you get someone else? Oh, sorry, Mario. Mario. How are, how are you supposed to say it? It's like Mario. Nineteen ninety three Bob Hoskins Mario. It was horrible, really. The guy had to leave and come back twice. Yeah, I mean... Okay, in Australia we call them trade. we call them tradies. So, it just sounds like a, a typical tradie thing. Did they give you, like, a window of, oh yeah, we're gonna turn up, uh, between 8am and, uh, 4 p.m. Did they do that? No? Okay. That's another dodgy go-to, go is just they give you this window where you have to sacrifice most of your day. Did, did they fix it at least? Yeah, okay. Well, that's something. Guess we'll see what the bill is. I should point out that I'm saying dodgy tradies or tradesmen, not all tradesmen. <laughs> I have relatives that are tradesmen and they're not dodgy at all. Yep. But you know, there's, there's a calling card for dodgy ones. They do similar things. It's a miracle to you. What is, like, fixing being a handyman? Handy person? Movement speed is nice. So wait, failed a few times and then finally got it. I mean... As long as it works and stays in working... Okay, I need to have the stasis ready. <laughs> and he realized he forgot to put on the water back again. Okay, well that's, uh, that's an honest mistake. <laughs> He's so exhausted. Was it that frustrating? Oh, well, kick back now. Get yourself some nuggies. I believe nuggies are in order for that. Oh no, my speed buff's about to run out. Okay. 
click onto this windmill. Looks like it. This movement speed. I should have done this sooner, but I didn't have that many crickets. It's raining. Uh, please tell me I can climb this. Come on. No, come on. Don't don't be dick. Don't be dick. to order the nuggies. Have fun. Okay. Let me look at this map again. I think I, I've been pretty good with it. It's just, there's a couple of spots here and there. Like, what is going on? What is going on here? This is the concerning spot. And then further along, I mean, there's this whole thing going here. Alright. Let's start. No. Yeah. Each loop will get longer, I guess. looking at here. Oh, that mountain. I don't think... I mean, I guess I haven't really done that mountain either. Alright, later. Let's just focus on this thing. Get it out of the way. Alright, that's the spot over there. I mean, it looks like I've gone to that windmill. It's okay. I have speed. I'll check out this forest. Yeah, who makes the best nuggets? I mean, this is from an American fast food point of view. I'd say here it's McDonald's. Especially when they do the spicy nuggets, they're pretty damn good. A close second for me is there's a chain called Red Rooster that does cheesy nuggets. They have little bits of cheese in the middle that melt. But those are, I guess you have to find a good Red Rooster. Or just ask for them to be freshly made. You'd say McDonald's, yeah, that, I don't know, something about that tempera thing. KFC's, I think they're a bit too soggy, I think KFC ones, if I put them in the air fryer just to make them a little crispier, they're good. But stock standard, not really. Okay. 
Poppies. Poppies is good. Don't have that. You don't think KFC do nuggets there? Really? Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, they're just nuggets with the, the same coating that they use on the chicken. They do popcorn chicken, but that's not the same. Nah. That's like a, a different coating. So it's dragon time again. I should be able to... Okay, here we go. I'm going for a claw this time. Perfect. This is the only dragon I'll get that close to. The others... Oh, Popeyes. Yeah, we still don't have Popeyes. I would want to. <laughs> Stasis. Good lord, go away. I would like to try their chicken. I've heard their chicken's good. Particularly the spicy stuff, you know. You had a Popeyes open recently in the UK, huh? Or maybe they might move to Australia. We'll see. Oh wait, but there's a lower shelf, isn't there? Yeah, there is. It's really good. Don't get it too often. Yeah, I mean here. As far as chains go, there isn't really anyone that competes with KFC. However, there are restaurants that do fried chicken that are pretty decent. I suppose there's, there's one called uh, Fried and Tasty, which is just the acronym FAT. Um, they have quite... they have a few stores, so I guess they're a chain, but not a big one. And they're, they're, they're okay. A bit more pricier than KFC, but they're all right. Chicken's definitely a better quality. Skeletons before you land, cause you just fought them. Yep. Must challenge the player if he's not Fighting every 15 seconds. No challenge. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying here. I have to fight every 15 seconds or else no challenge. Okay. Well, now I gotta walk up the canyon again. Although, mind you, I could probably go back up this way. Okay. There must be a, a process with ordering nuggets. Let's 
think when it's super late night and McDonald's isn't open, Domino's does like these chicken bite things and they're, they're okay. It's like chicken's not bad, but it's not, it's not quite the same, but they're okay. I don't mind those either. McDonald's never closes. We have a few that don't close here. But I think delivery services stop. Like, I, I know I have a few that are 24 hours, but just delivery services stop. So I'd have to go out and drive there, which, eh. I'm not that desperate for chicken nuggets that late. That's one of those things that if I'm out and about... have DoorDash all night here. We have it here as well, it's just for some reason McDonald's just decides to be like, nah. Not sure why. So what is it about Arby's nuggets that you like more than, say, McDonald nuggets, Messiah? This is a curiosity, because we don't have- well, Arby's apparently opened here for a very short amount of time and then pff, they just vanished, so I don't know. But we don't have Arby's here. Yeah, this is a lost cause. Ooh, this is not good. Hang in there, Link. As long as you stamp- yep, yeah, okay, we're good. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to suck it up and walk up again. You know, one thing I wish we had more of, but it's just not a thing. For some reason, there are no fast food chains that, here that do curly fries. Burger King, I'm going to call it Burger King for the sake of understanding. Burger King used to do them as a, a promotional item in the 90s, but they just don't do them anymore. No one does them. Like, if you, if you want to get curly fries, the only place that I know that sells them frozen, um, it's like the German supermarket Aldi. Right, so it's because of the meat quality, breading, and nuggy size. Tastes best for you. Gotcha. I mean, that's the most important thing. Yeah, man, I, I miss curly fries. Aldi's the only place I know that sells it. I, I, I'm just not sure why... ...why they're not a thing. Don't think any chain places do curly fries, but your local kebab place does. Oh, that's cool. Man, I'd love a kebab of curly fries. The, un the only thing that comes close is there's a burger chain. Um, it's not a big one, but they do uh, those crisscross fries. It's like, I think they call them hashtag fries, it's, but um, they're just criss cut. And they, they have the same flavor, flavoring, seasoning, waffle fries, whatever you want to call them. They have different names. 
but um, they have the same seasoning as curly fries. Listen, it's regional, okay? We can call them something different, and it would still be valid. Like, we could call them Curly Wingos, and it would still be valid, because it's Australia. And that's what we refer to them as. Do we have five guys? Ah, uh, I think. I think we might. I think we might. But not- this- this is one of these things where... Did they opened up, like, one of those pop-up stores? I don't think it's a permanent thing. I'm almost positive it's not a permanent thing. I'd have to double check. I haven't been. But I do remember hearing that one was around, but I think it was a pop-up store. So... Hey, Lolo Guts. Thanks for the bits. How's it going? Let me... Whilst I'm running up this hill... I swear... Oh, no, there is. Yeah, there's a Five Guys in Melbourne. Yeah, okay, so it's like... It's on... It's in the river. Okay, Riverside. No kidding. We do. Haven't tried it. Hand cut fries. Okay, we do have it. Well, let's see how much they are. Menu. Oh, they do hot dogs. No shit. Okay, how about just like a... Oh, they don't have prices on their website. That's interesting. Why not? That's... that's... hmm. That is strange. Okay, I don't know. No idea. Have no... nothing to compare it against. They don't have prices on their website. Well, either way, I was right. There's like, well, there's one store. It's just in the city. I mean, it, it's smack bang like we're talking the central hub of Melbourne, so odds are I will go there at some point. I'll keep it in mind. In fact, I was there like uh, two, three weeks ago, so I would have. It's okay. It's fine. Hey, well-known Vintage, how's it going? Websites don't usually have prices online since different locations could have different prices. Not here. Here it's pretty standard. It's like you have a menu for a location and then it shows the price for that location. Here, most places are pretty uh, transparent about pricing. I think they have to be, because, uh, we have, like, a consumer protections body. And if you do something bad, you get a very big fine as a company. If you try to deceive consumers. It's actually great. Try the seasoned fries. Oh, I will. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could make a journey out of it. It's not that hard. It's like... I hop on a trolley and then I'm there in like 15, 20.
but I'd be specifically going for that. They have good shakes. You know, I love I love a good shake, I do, but for some reason it's just when you have it with a meal, you just feel so bloated afterwards. Or at least that's how I feel. It just it's it's extra. Okay, it, it would be a case of a, I'd have a smaller burger or something lighter as a burger choice if I'm getting a shake. I'm intrigued about the hot dogs because there's not a whole lot of hot dog places. That's why you're fat <laughs> in America. Uh, I mean, look, Australia's got obesity issues as well, so... That's one of the few fast food places that do beer. Really? Man, beer in fast food places is pretty common here. Aside from, you know, the big American chains... Um, beer at a fast food place is, is more common than you'd think, yeah? It's becoming more and more popular. Some places are even doing wine as well. Yeah, there's a burger chain called Grilled. You can go there and have a beer with your burger. Um, it's one of the larger burger chains. I think even Pizza Hut has recently started delivering beer as well, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Like, you can get pizza and beer delivered. Oh, the speed boost is just making this process so much better. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's taking half as long. You forgot Pizza Hut do alcohol because they don't deliver it. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. But I mean, here, uh, there's quite a few places that do it outside of pizza. I mean, the most notable one is, like, Grilled. It's a burger place. I mean, all they need is an alcohol license, pretty much, and they can do it. I'm just gonna quickly check here. Since I'm in the area. I mean, I would say that's part of the reason Australia has an obesity problem as well. It's just the drinking culture. I mean, yeah, fast food's a thing, but it's not to the same level. Because we inherited the pub culture from the UK. Okay, this was the other canyon area I wanted to check. There's a talus on that one, but there's all these little parts around here. And then there's just one over here. Where is it? That shelf there. And then I think we're good for this canyon.
I've, I've found a couple. I knew it wasn't going to be that many, but it's just I've been putting it off because the process of running back up the canyon. <laughs> and look, no fast travel allowed. That's the reason why it's taken long. I, I acknowledge that and understand. But there you go. There's another one. Okay, where is this one? I probably should save. Just in case I make a mistake here. I'll... Uh, it's a bit of a pain. Let's see if I can climb. I don't really see anything that is a dead giveaway for a car. Ah! Shit. Okay. I might have to load. Yeah, it was above. It was above. Okay, load. <laughs> load. That's why I saved. That's why I saved. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. But it, I guess it's got to be up high, because... Well, we'll see. That's it, that's it, that's all I need. So where is it? This is a, this is a, a talus. Oh, there. Wow, it's like right next to the talus. Okay. Yeah. 5.42. Got a... Swap my quips real quick. Okay. It'll be a while. I mean, from an atmospheric perspective, it is nice. It's just... I hate it. Stopped, ha. Huh? That was pretty quick. Already raised four hundred. Yeah, I'm like at five something. How's it going, Lanius? I mean this area, this tower here has been good just because one particular mountain gave me like about thirty. But yeah, this area in general, excluding this, this part, is good. It's, it's, uh, it's this mountain here. Like, if you look at the Korok density, it is kind of insane. And even then, I'm not entirely convinced I got them all, but... It's this mountain here, Satori Mountain. It's a good one. Okay, so, hold up. That's the ridge I need to get to. Which I guess there's no real way to get there. Easily. We were just talking about the go-to for chicken nuggets if you have one. 
I mean, that, it's unanimously McDonald's with the exception of one. Talking about, uh, Arby's, which I can't... Can't go fact check that one. We don't have that here. Alright. Yeah, I wonder what happened to it. I wonder where they opened that they failed. It's happened a few times before. Like, Wendy's tried to open in Australia and they failed, but that was in the 70s. So well before my time. And then someone brought bought the... The brand rights or something, so then it's now like an ice cream store where they sell ice creams and milkshakes, and they do like plain ass hot dogs, nothing special. Just hot dog, bun, ketchup. Mustard, I think, as well, but yeah, nothing. Nothing good. It's not even the same logo. It's just the name. Why didn't I explore that shelf? That's so weird. Anyway, we'll get there. I don't have to go through the cold to look at it. These were really useful. No, oh, yeah, there's still the matter of the scale, but that's fine. Partially here, but also... I just want to be sure. Dragon? Was a dragon again? And if I can get there quick enough, I might be able to. I heard the music. Did I just? Where is it? I hear it, but I don't see it. I mean, no, it's probably in the canyon itself. No? What the fuck? Oh, no, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. I can probably still catch it. Am I going to save the blue dragon? I already did. That's not a Karak. That's not a Karak. 
This is a Korok. Yeah, that was uh, a while ago. Whenever I I did uh, whenever I was up to Hatino. Almost messed that one up. Oh man, that was close. Yeah, admittedly, this is laziness, but. Oh shit, it's down there, I can see it. Well, this was a waste. I thought it was up here, but it's actually over there, you can see it. Rip. It's okay. I mean, I could load, but then I don't really... Nah. It's fine. Okay. Let's see if this works. It should. Okay. I think we're okay. <laughs> this area. <laughs> All right, time to move on. I'm going along here because there's a scale I left somewhere. Yeah, it's just a massive scribble in this area. I get it, but... When you don't fast travel, that's just what it has to be. You have a theory as to what... No more move speed. Sad. It was nice while it lasted. I almost feel like getting a bunch of dragon horns just to get half hour buffs. What? Coloran 001 is the 901st Korok. What makes what makes you think that? Cause keeps typing yahaha. -ha. <laughs> right. I mean I don't know. Can't say I've ever seen the 901st Korok and Coloran in the same room at the same time. Huck. 
Where's the scale? Or is it further along? Let me look behind me just in case. Okay, it's not. That's not. I genuinely don't remember where it fell, so it's possible that I'll miss this. It's okay. Ah, man. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of this canyon. I'm so glad to be done with it. Uh, so the only thing left is here. There's this little bit here, which isn't much. It's just this this little piece here. That's all I need to do. And then we good. Area done. Okay. Hi Zelda. Uh, how am I doing? Doing well. Just chilling. Had a day off, but did a lot of house work, so I'm like, just kicking back. I wasn't gonna play today, but after doing a bunch of busy stuff today, I was in the mood to do more. Plus, there's not a whole lot of time left before the game comes out, so, yeah. It's a good thing I ate that cheese, because we're talking about chicken nuggets too much. So I'm not hungry. I'm good. There, how, uh, how are you doing? Yeah, I've lost the scale. I have no idea where the scale fell. So, it's probably on high ground somewhere, and eh. Unless I did pick it up already, and it's just like midnight brain, you know? Still challenging me, even after that. You're excited for the new game? Yeah, me too. I think a lot of us are here. It's not that far away. Okay. On your way home. Ah, okay, gotcha. Where is... I bet it's up on high ground, that's why I just didn't get to see it. I miss my movement speed buff. I'm not even halfway up this game. <laughs> okay, now I am. Just a bit over halfway. But if I had the buff, I would be already on that bridge. Like, trying to find pricing for the Five Guys stuff as well. 
Oh, you know what? I got a way to do this. Hang on. Don't go to their website. Someone surely has taken a photo of their menu. No, no one's done it, really? I oh, know, here we go. No, but that's America. Australia. Okay. Well, that's... Hmm. It's not really anything to go by, but I guess it's a basis. It's like... As far as burgers go, yeah. No, that's definitely... Definitely on the pricey side. I mean, for that price, I could get a whole meal at any other place. I mean, $5.90 for a regular a tiny fries, like not a big one. Hmm. They better be something special to be costing that much. <laughs> if I go to McDonald's, I can get a burger for five bucks pretty easily. I mean, I get it. It's McDonald's, but, you know. Grilled, which is a better burger chain. It's still a chain. They give you a lot of fries, okay. But see, the burger for- the burger, alright. On this menu, a bacon cheeseburger is $21. Which, if you put it into the context of grilled, which is something that's a bit more pricey in terms of burgers. Grilled burgers, I, th I think they don't go higher than 15 We're talking about five guys, yeah. Let me, let me just double check. Grilled. Standby. Grilled. Menu. I want to see what the most expense- yeah, so... Most burgers at Grilled, they're like between 13 to $17. I mean, even the, the burgers that are made out of Wagyu... They're 17 bucks. Where's the steak sandwich? That's probably the most expensive thing they have. I'm trying to find the more fancy stuff. I guess I don't do the steak sandwich anymore, but th at that place, you know, the really good quality beef, the Wagyu stuff. That's 17 bucks. And Five Guys is, uh, is another $4 just for a bacon cheeseburger. Is it, is it really that good? This is one of these things where I feel like trying it once is enough, but then it's just, man, I don't know. That's, that's pretty, uh, ballsy in terms of pricing, because... That's like sit-down restaurant pricing, you know? It's not the best burger in the whole world. Yeah, see, that's the thing, right? Like, I could go... Okay. Uh, one sec. This, I have to use both hands to type this. Okay, so there's a steakhouse that is really good, right? 
and I want to find the menu for it. That's the one I'm looking for. Okay. So, at a steakhouse that is considered one of the better steakhouses, right? That, okay, this is served with fries. So, with fries, it's like $29 with a decent serving of fries. So, we're talking about like a steakhouse there. And the the fries there to get like a decent you know the medium serving is seven bucks so it's like that pricing is that had better be on par with like that steakhouse in terms of burger if it's not man they're not gonna survive here long like just no one's gonna go to them because there are there are so many other burger places that would do it probably comparable if not better for a cheaper price. You look, that's like, yeah, a fancy steakhouse. I mean, I might try it, right? Like, I'll, if I'm there and I see it's open, sure. And I'll report back, but just based on instinct alone, this is just the sort of thing. There are places like this that open and they go with an expensive price point just because it's a novelty. And they don't survive long. Gordon Ramsay tried to open restaurants in Australia, and most of them shut down. I think he doesn't have a restaurant in Australia as a result, just because it's the sort of thing people look at it and they're like, Yeah, look, I'm sure it's good, but it's just, we can get other stuff that's cheaper and whilst probably not as good, still good enough. So, we'll see. I don't know if they do delivery. It's probably too far away. Like, that would be a, a thing where, if I was in the area, it would be alright. Sadly, the UK has bad food. I've heard. I'm not sure. Never been. But I do know this because... People assume Australia has an equally bad food culture, which we don't. It's, uh, it's very good here. Particularly Melbourne and Sydney, because they have just become melting pots in terms of cooking cultures. And we have a lot of Southeast Asian influence as well, so it's just... Pretty much think of a country you want to get food from, you can find it. And then there's like fusion of that food, it's it's so good. Pretty spoiled. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be that expensive. When people said expensive, I was expecting, okay, roughly grilled, grilled, which is like the more expensive burger place here, but they're worth the price. But more expensive than grilled, man? I don't know. Like, we have places that are expensive, and the only reason they survive is because it's just, they're the only kind, like, we have Nando's here. In Australia, Nando's is very expensive for chicken, but the reason they survive is because chicken places, I mean, what, you got Red Rooster, you got KFC, and then supermarket chicken. There's not that a whole lot to compete with. So it's like, yeah, it's a fancy chicken, it's, it's the base things, it's, it's fine. It does, or, it does well. But this is burgers we're talking about, like, you can get... A really good burger between 15 to $17, right? And Five Guys is like, nah, 21 bucks. 
which is basically like steakhouse restaurant burger price. So, hmm. I don't know, man. We'll see. Check back in a year and we'll see if they're still open. I don't think I've ever paid more than 20 for a burger. The burgers aren't even that big. Not really doing it justice. So this is just a novelty thing where it's like, yeah, you hear the American chain? Yeah, America. Yeah, it's American. You don't have that here. Pay us $21 for a bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I'll check the reviews as well and see what people say. It's the experience. Yeah, but I could go to the good steakhouse and get a, a better experience. Like, this steakhouse is pretty damn legit. If someone was visiting and, you know, they wanted to be taken to a good place to eat meat, I would take them there. And it would be, yeah, you can have kangaroo here if you want, but the other stuff is pretty damn good. I mean, that would be the place to eat kangaroo from, I think. Like, best experience. And it's not, it's not too bad in pricing. It's not too bad. I got free peanuts? Well. What am I doing sitting here? I should go line up right now. Do I get $8 worth of peanuts? Is that what makes it worth it? That I get $8 worth of peanuts? You've never had peanuts from there and you think they've stopped doing them since COVID. Well, that's the other thing is like, American chains don't always translate 100% when they open internationally. So, like, take Taco Bell, for example. There's so much stuff missing from the Australian Taco Bell menu. Where Americans would be shocked. They'd be like, what? This isn't Taco Bell. Where's this? Where's that? The biggest omission is, like, the Baja Blast. Probably the most intriguing thing of the Taco Bell experience. Which isn't a thing here, so... Yeah. It's, like, less incentive to want to go there. Because now it's just like, oh... So the stuff my American friends are telling me about isn't even there. Okay, that's then I'd just be going to have shitty Mexican. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like voluntarily going out of my way to get that. When earlier I was talking about, yeah, you know, I'm getting masa and I'm gonna make my own tortillas and... Then I, I go to Taco Bell. Nah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's sad because, not gonna lie, the drink was probably the most compelling thing about it because we only have one Mountain Dew flavor here. And to hear that it was, like, something concocted specifically for Taco Bell, and it's, like, of that variety? Yeah. Hey, Gammy. Gammy, quick question. Do you have five guys in, in, uh, New South Wales? And if so, have you been? We were just talking about it, and fuck me, the prices on those burgers. Like, they're joking, right? <laughs> think it's here but you haven't been so i'm not sure if, if these 
like the menu is uh is the same but in penrith right um a bacon double cheeseburger is 21 bucks 21 dollars that's like sit down restaurant prices i thought when people were saying it's expensive i was thinking you know roughly what the prices at grilled are because that's usually considered the more pricey burger place but $21, man. Just for the burger. Just for the burger, yeah. Meat, the Meat and Wine Co., like one of the the good steakhouses, they do a burger and fries and, you know, the salad for $29. And it's a good burger. Like, it, it would have to be comparable to that, otherwise the... I just can't see why anyone would want to go beyond the, oh, this is an American fast food chain. Wow, we don't have that here. We've heard so much about it on TV and movies, and it's just, that's the only reason. It's the novelty of it. But to make that your regular burger spot, I don't know, man. I get the feeling once that novelty is worn off, like, I don't think they'll survive. Maybe I'm wrong, but... I think the reaction there is like $21 for a burger. <laughs> yeah. A fucking hamburger is 18, dude. A hamburger. And the description is, you know, it's not the best burger in the world, which is like. I could go to the Meat and Wine Co. and get a good burger there, and it's a sit down experience, and yeah, it's like. It's a steakhouse. You wouldn't bother. I think it's just, this is one of these things where I, I think I'm going to have to do now just to be like, Americans, what the fuck? What? What? You come to Australia with the novelty of the Five Guys Burger and you think you can sell it for $21? Get it out of here. <laughs> uh, I'm sure they just sold the, the license to use the brand name, to be honest. I don't think Americans ployed to, like, make a killing here by opening Five Guys. But, you know, it's more funnier that way, if I say it that way. I can say I tried it. Yeah, you're right. And I think... I think that's what I'm going to do. I might go on a mission this week and get it. Like, maybe on Friday. Gotta get a shake, too. How big is this burger? How big is this But I'm gonna look up reviews for this place as well, but, like... The thing about having a shake for me is, I've said it, but I, I just feel bloated. And if I'm gonna have to make the journey there... And then have to move, like, walk afterwards, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. $21 for a burger, dude. Mental. The burger would have to be the size of your head. All made up of, like, a super good quality meat, right? Like, you know, top, top tier. If I see, if I see teenagers working there, man, I don't know. That's, like, it's a bad sign. No disrespect, but it's, like, that... Then it's it's like you're talking you you're telling me to go to a McDonald's basically that charges twenty one dollars for a burger. <laughs> I'm sure teenagers can make good food, but I'm talking about like you know, first job don't really give a shit. It's just there for a paycheck. That's what I mean. Much like I was once upon a time when I used to work at a chicken shop. <laughs> Three point three ounces. How much is that? Yeah, I need that in metric. Three point three ounces. So that's ninety three grams. That's ninety. Mm, I don't know. 
Maybe I shouldn't go. No, I think I, I should go for the content. I think I should go because it would make good content. And then a discussion topic. Or I'm either going to be like, all right, you know what? Yeah, it was worth it. It was just, it was good. Probably wouldn't go back that often. Or I'm just like, what is this? Are we really going to pay like American nostalgia a fucking 45% premium almost? Because <laughs> that's what we're talking about here. Now the fries they're a bit more excusable because there it's like if the if the serving size is decent, five dollars for fries, sure, that's fine, that's less egregious, that's less egregious. They give a lot of fries. We shall see. Because the sizes are, for fries, little, regular, and large. So little is 590, regular is 790, and the large is 990. And then, um... Okay, hold on, this is interesting. All toppings are free. So I can get my burger and then get different toppings. Okay, so that's 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 a point of the, that's a point to them right there. So I guess if you're going to five guys, you should get extra topping. So you start with bacon cheeseburger, and then you pick you know I want mayo, lettuce, pickles, ketchup, onions, right? Okay, okay. All right. Now here's the, here's the other thing: the fries they they say they're available. In Five Guys style or Cajun style? Which which of the two is the go-to? I mean, I, I think the experience is going to vary. Mileage will vary, right? Bacon is a topping. Well, topping to them is basically something that isn't meat. It's just, it's the salad, effectively, from what I'm gathering from this, and, co and condiments. Salad and condiments, that's what it means, really. Cajun fries, so not five guys. Okay, noted. But which, uh, yeah, which other two? Five guys is just plain? Okay. I'll get the cage on. They sound more appealing. Next time you're in there arguing that free bacon. But you know what? You could probably argue that in Australia and take it to the ACCC and be like, it's false advertising. Because a bacon is classified as a topping, and they say all toppings are free, so they're misleading consumers. Bam! Lawsuit from the Australian government. It would probably happen. You gotta love the consumer protections here. They're just so good. Companies can't do dodgy shit in Australia chat because... The worst punishment they get is like, they get a massive fine and then... They either have to take out an advertisement in the newspaper or on their website put a banner that says they misled consumers. And no one wants to fall victim to that. It's like, yeah, you don't want to have to do that. So companies are on their best behavior where possible. That's a good punishment. Yeah, it's it's fucking great. I love it. Do you know why Steam refunds are so good? And I think I know this is why. It's because in Australia they tried to make it seem like we couldn't get refunds on digital purchases. So the government took them to court over it and Valve lost. 
And ever since then, their refund program has been uh, pretty smooth. Like, it's very easy to get refunds on Steam. And I would imagine they just don't want to run into that problem again where a government sues them. So, yeah. I'm not... Like, there's no way to confirm that's the reason, but I'm almost positive that's the reason, because it was a big deal. <laughs> you would ask for three or four toppings of bacon, or three or four toppings of egg, then normal cheeseburger. Yeah, but the, they're not- it doesn't count, it's just- Toppings means just whatever they have in the Bain Marie, like the cold p section of it. It's just lettuce, tomato, onions, mushrooms, just salad, and then whatever condiments are there. Okay, we are done with this area. With this mountain, it comes to a close. We're heading to the next tower. Um, that being said. On the way there, I'm going to stop. Can't scan them. No. I mean, I, th I think they're pretty clear about it because they list what classifies as an ingredient under the ad of, like, toppings being free. So they do, you know, they have a definitive list of what falls under that category. I'm trying, I'm desperately trying to find the menu for Melbourne. But I'm only finding Penrith, which... Yeah, I mean, probably close enough. Penrith is where you live for a while in New South Wales. Yeah. I mean, I know that was... ...roughly where it was, but... Yeah, that's all I'm finding. I'm just finding Penrith's menu. Which, yeah. I guess it opened there before, uh... ...before Melbourne. Or even just Sydney. Anyway. Leave it with me, we'll see how this week goes. Do they do chicken nuggets that? No, you know what, I have the menu here, what am I talking about? <laughs> this is, this is what they do. Oh, no, no, no. I found it. I found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I found it. I found it. Melbourne's one. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's $22. $22. $22. Not 21. 22, chat. It's $22. $22 for the bacon double cheeseburger. And then they have one that's like the little bacon cheeseburger, which I guess is a smaller version of it, but it's 19, but I guess if it's a $3 difference, I would go the just the $22 one. Okay, everything else seems about right, and then they just have the Five Guys shake, right? With or without whipped cream, and then you have chocolate, peanut butter, malted milk, vanilla, Salted caramel, strawberry, banana, Oreo cookie pieces. You can add bacon to any milkshake. Okay, what's what's the what's the play here? Americans, I'm talking to you. <laughs> bacon in a milkshake? What? Oh no, I'm gonna die.
bacon. I'm just gonna walk around here real quick. This is the mountain, right? Yeah, this is this is the good mountain. I should just pop in every now and then because it is so good. I feel like I should fast for the next three days. <laughs> just then it, it, it counterbalances what I'm about to do to myself. So, all right, let's talk milkshake. I, I read out the options and bacon on a milkshake, what? What's, what's the go-to? Yay or nay on the bacon? Oh, what the? F How's that? <laughs> How did that not go down? You personally don't like it, but your husband down does. It sounds okay. Why would you want bacon in a milkshake, though? What What's the appeal of it? But is it is it bacon? What are we talking about? Bacon bits? Like I, I can't picture it. I don't know. Uh, that's yeah. I don't know. That's that's a bit of a s stretch for me. That one. But okay, standard flavors. What's the go-to standard flavor? What killed me eleven times? Ah, uh, just random creatures, stalls mainly, just being assholes and appearing at inconvenient things. Confirm me, I'm talking about Five Guys because apparently there's one in Melbourne and I'm just debating on whether or not I should go. I'm leaning towards going just for content and then talking about it because the pricing is ridiculous. So they have milkshakes and they have the option to put bacon in a milkshake. Should I do that and why should I do that? Or why not? What have you heard? Even if you you have no experience with it. You like the Reese's Cups? They don't have that here, but I'm guessing that's the peanut butter one. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, bacon favorite, bacon flavored ice cream, I can understand that, but a milk, I don't know. Ugh. Bacon with They're literally thousands of miles away. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's just... It's... Their prices are basically the same as, like, you would go to a steakhouse and have a good sit-down burger. Which, I, I question, like, is this Ameri is this premium just American novelty? Is that really what this is? What it boils down to? Dipping bacon would be good, but just soaking in a milkshake, no. But why would you dip- why would you dip bacon in a milkshake? Why would you dip- that's the part that I'm like, why? <laughs> what does it do to the bacon that would make you go, yes, I'm going to dip it in milk that is flavored with chocolate or whatever other flavor you get. That's- that's the part that I- I'm just having this disconnect. It's salty and sweet. Yeah, but if you wanted salty and sweet, couldn't you do something normal like, I don't know, like a, a syrup, like a maple syrup or something? That seems more sane to me. Or like a honey. But we're talking milk, and then the milk is flavored with chocolate. It's like dipping french fries in your frosty at Wendy's. Yeah, but that's... Uh, it. I guess it's vegetable, and it's easier for me to make that disconnect. 
Okay, hold on. The flavors they have, I'll read them again. Where is it? Where'd I put it? Here. So they have chocolate peanut butter, which I assume is the Reese's cup thing. They have malted milk, which I assume they don't want to say Milo, so that's probably Milo. Vanilla, salted caramel, strawberry, banana, Oreo cookie pieces. And then in, in like a special font, it says, add bacon to any shake. <laughs> like completely normal selling point. And then they offer with or without whipped cream. I'm getting stun locked by this. But you know, the bar has to be pretty high. It has to be. If I can go to a steakhouse and get a burger from a steakhouse with fries and a salad for 29 and five guys is like $22, and then the fries can be $7, like, it's, the, it's basically the same price. You have peanut butter and the Reese's Cups, two different flavors. Okay, well then... Yeah, we don't have... I mean, Reese's isn't really a thing here. The only way you can get it is if you go to a specialty store that imports American snacks. Like, it's not a standard offering. At least I don't think. I can't say I've seen it in normal supermarkets. Anyway, I wanted to come here because... Yeah, ingredients. This is the best place to come get a variety of stuff that we're going to need. Um, There's one above me. I'll go to- I don't- I don't want to go to all of them, like, I think the one that was giving me resist was good enough. And then I think this next one's a mushroom one, which is all I want. You wonder if it sticks a bacon sticking out and not, like, bacon bits? Not sure. I mean, I'd, I could dig further into it and look into, uh, like, what people are posting on Instagram. I'm sure they have an Instagram account that probably shows it. Like, this is just surface-level investigation. Oreo cookies would probably be my choice. If I wasn't, like, asking, that's the one I would go with, because that's the most familiar. Or the malt one. Or the malt one. But I guess if I can go both, both. But, like, that, that's, that would be my choice of all those options. Okay, uh, I think that should do. Alright, I just wanted to get these because, yeah, helps. Usually go with chocolate and peanut butter, okay. I mean, maybe for the shake I should just go with what I personally enjoy, if there's no real consensus. Like, this just seems like a personal preference and there's no meta to it. Except for the bacon, which... Okay. Oh, dude. I'm scared. This is, like, gonna be when I went to have the chili dog. Like, do you know how, I I worked up the courage to go there because I was like, no, this is insane. This thing, just the looks of it, it's just... It's excessive. I'm just gonna have to work up the courage and just push through it. The burger's not the courageous part, the shake is. The burger's just like, man, $22, really? Better be, better be damn good.
not steakhouse quality. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. I think I think what's going to happen here is I'm going to go and I'm, it's going to be like, yeah, you know what? It's fine. It's nothing special. But I probably won't go again because at that point, it, do you know, this is the funny thing as well. The location of this five guys, the steakhouse that I'm talking about is their neighbors. They're practically neighbors. They're like that close in proximity to one another. I guess the only thing the steakhouse doesn't have is the bacon milkshake. Oh, sorry, my apologies. A milkshake with bacon in it. Or bacon to dip. I don't know what to expect here. <laughs> Just the, the option to do bacon with milkshake. Good. Oh, is that something? Yep. Hold on. That seems interesting. Could be a diving spot, I'll see. I mean, the other burger options, they just don't seem worth even talking about. Like, it's a no-brainer, right? Like, if I'm going there, it's the bacon cheeseburger. There's no debate about that, right? Because the other ones, they just seem like it's either a smaller option or it's just without the cheese or without the bacon. So it's, it's a pretty standard. I don't know what the word you would use is, but it's, it's not. It's not complicated. You're either you're getting a combination of meat, cheese, and bacon. You like the smaller burger? Yeah, I mean the thing is, it's it's a three dollar difference, and it's like for three dollars. And if I'm really going to be paying that much for a burger, I'm going to just fill myself with regret on every possible area, I guess. From price down to the fact that I've, I'll be unable to move afterwards. I'll do that on Friday. Okay, tower is... Where's tower? Isn't tower here? Oh, there it is. Jeez, I'm blind. <laughs> it's over there. I was like, wait a minute, tower should be here. Where's tower? It's okay. How far of a drive is it? I wouldn't drive. I'd be uh, jumping on public transport because it's in the inner city. And it's just easier to just jump on public transport. I'd be walking for like 10 minutes and then just take the tram down there. Or no, the train, because yeah, it's like, yeah, it's in South Bank, so... It's like smack bang in the heart of the city. It's a little bit of a journey, but you know what? I'd get some exercise and a walk. It's just on the way back that might suck. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, it's a diving one. Okay, Tal first, Octorok second. I mean, Octorok, Korok. Octorok. Yeah, that's like the midnight brain kicking in. I can't believe we've talked about this burger place for the, at least the last half hour. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a trip to Hatino. And, um, Akala. I need to replenish my ancient arrows if we're gonna be doing this. But you know what? The other, the last American chain that opened here that I was like, I gotta try, it was Carl's Jr. And I was like, you know what, this is just a slightly better version of Burger King, or Hungry Jacks for us, but you know. Slightly better, not really. But at least the pricing, it was fine. It wasn't, you know, extravagant, it was just, yeah, more or less what you'd expect from Burger King. Oh shit, right, I don't have any. Ooh, this is, this is gonna, ooh. Okay. Never had them. Yeah, I mean, that's just slightly better Burger King. That's, that's how I would describe them, at least here in Australia. Wow, the fucking fake out. Oh, I hate that so much. That's like the worst change they've done to Master. <laughs> it's just so annoying. Because you don't know when they're going to do it, it's just, oh, well, you can't go by sound, you have to go purely vision, and even then, it makes it a much tighter window. Okay. God, it did it again. <laughs> Fake out. Ah! Up. Just do it normal, please. Because if I wait too long, it's going to cause my shield to just go. Yeah, this is going to be a few deaths. It's just I can't climb the tower. Otherwise. Yep, no, that time, that time I was like, okay, I'll wait until the last possible second, and then it didn't do the fake out. It's great. <laughs> what do you mean I did the deflect? <laughs> I, I hate this game. <laughs> I'm loading. What is the point of targeting if it's going to miss? How- how does that happen? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? This might sound ridiculous, but you thought Mark Wahlberg owned Five Guys because, you know, he opened a burger restaurant and he was in that movie Four Brothers, so you made that weird connection, but he actually owns Wahlburgers, and his movie has nothing to do with the restaurant. <laughs> uh, that's funny. This one's alive, right? No? Okay. There's only two that can fuck you up. Okay. If we're doing a central Hyrule, without question, I need Ancient Arrows. <sighs> this fake out is so infuriating. 
It's just one of these things where how do I predict that it's going to do it? There's no, it does, it's not telegraphed. It's just the, the gap is just so much smaller. Or the telegraphing is just subtle. I don't know. It's just, I hate it. <laughs> I'm loading. I'm not losing multiple shields to this shit. Anytime I choose not to wait for it, it does the fake out. Anytime I choose to wait for it, it doesn't do the fake out. <laughs> it's just... I can't win. Yeah, no, yep. It's almost like it's dynamic in, in that if I pre if I don't press it within a certain window, it'll be like, haha, fake out. I almost feel tempted to just rain that thing with bomb arrows until it dies. What what is this horse shit? Dude, I Are you watching this? <laughs> what <laughs> What a How is that allowed? Really? Really, game? Really? Really? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> I can lose it. I need a bit of that. Did I increase the death counter? I don't think I did. Okay. Pretty sure you climbed the tower without killing them. But does that mean they can target you? They can target you, clearly. I'm sure... If I had good stamina and speed, I could probably do it. Oh, hold on. That broke me a little. Oh my god, this fake out, dude. I'm gonna let it get to 210, and if I can't do it, I'm gonna try and climb. Hold up. Oh. Okay. It's just the this, this stupid fact that I've, like, I've gotten the parry and it misses. That is such... 
utter garbage. Loading. I think that's that's the tru truly the worst part about this. It's not that it's hard, it's the fact that the parry can sometimes miss. You see the animation goes off, go off, and the beam just decides to miss. That should be okay now. Okay. I mean, I lost the shield, but whatever, it's fine. I just don't want to deal with them when exploring this area either, because I'm sure there's some Koroks nearby, and having that beam just being a thing I have to worry about, uh, no thank you. I'd much rather do the area and then just don't think about it. But yes, ancient arrows are something I'm going to have to go get. As, guess what? This tower involves Hyrule Castle, so I'll be going to Hyrule Castle to fetch the shield. Yeah, that's happening. I'm not I'm not skipping over Hyrule Castle because there's a shrine there and there's also Koroks there. So we're going to Hyrule Castle at some point. Not to finish the game, but you know, to clear it out. Good night. You should sleep. No worries, Gammy. Thanks for hanging out and for the chat. Hope you enjoyed watching me uh, get smacked in the face by a laser and slime. Oh, man. You, you can't make that up. Like... I've seen some shit during this playthrough. <laughs> Central Hyrule Tower. What memories are left, just out of interest? I think I know what that one is. That's Central Hyrule, Central Hyrule. That's... I know what that is. Yeah, most of them are Central Hyrule, with the exception of the Gerudo Valley. Is Link right-handed? No, Link's, Link's a lefty. I forgot what, what confirmed that, but somewhat, something has confirmed that he's a lefty. Or at least in most games, he's a lefty. Okay, we're heading to a stale because I'm not really going to do this area without Ancient Arrows. In this game, not sure. One sec. Link is left-handed, mostly. This is official from the official Nintendo website. The only time he was not left-handed was in the Wii version of uh, Twilight Princess. But in every other game, he is a lefty. That's uh, from the official Nintendo website, so can't go any 
more definitive than that. I mean, I don't know. That's just, that's what they say. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> you can question the the logic of uh, that statement, but yeah, it's, that's what it says. I mean, I'm a lefty, but sometimes I do things with my right hand. That doesn't mean you're exclusively, you have to do everything with your left hand. That's not how it works. Like, if I play something like tennis, for example, I could, I'm better with my right hand, because my right hand is stronger. Despite my left hand being my primary hand, my right hand is stronger. If I'm going to arm wrestle someone, I'll use my right hand instead of my left. Okay, well... Damn it, I thought I could be sneaky, not quick enough. I think the reason they say it is because that's where the Triforce thing appears. It appears on his left hand. Yeah, I'm not fucking around. This is the only time you'll see me do this, is just I have to get across this bridge. It's also the first enemy gut that I've gotten. Um, but anyway, the reason I'm doing this is because I can grab a fresh one. It's also great that it's just trash here. I got you a dollar, gotta be quicker than that. I don't know the commercial. Not a thing. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna... Well, yeah, I mean... I don't live in America. <laughs> it's, it's just, we have different commercials here. Yeah. You don't watch TV, TV, so many ads, it's insane. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just thinking, as opposed to Twitch? <laughs> I mean, it depends on the streamer, to be fair, but like, man. Twitch can get a... Uh... You have Twitch Turbo. Okay, but let's say you didn't. I guess that's the thing. Because TV, you're not paying for it, right? If you were to put Twitch and... on the same playing field where you're not paying for it, like TV... I think the experience would be worse. You don't seem to get ads. Well, I mean, here, I have made it my mission to, like... Change the setting to be whatever it is that plays them the least. You it's impossible to turn them off, but I, I at least tinkered it with, with it to the point where, yeah, it's just like as little as they can be because fuck ads, honestly. Oh, they're, they're going to give me $2 at the end of the month to, to make up for the fact that uh, some people might leave the moment they get an ad? Okay. Yeah, it sounds worth it. It's from a State Farm commercial. It's all see. That's why we don't. We just don't have that here. 
I don't even know what that is. State Farm. Insurance. <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that. I would have... I thought it would have been, I don't know, something that produces, like, is in the produce business, like, you know, something along those lines. Insurance? Would not have been my first guess. Before we go crazy with Central Hyrule, um, where is the state? Okay, so cross the bridge. Yeah, I'm fine. We're going to top up our ancient arrows because there's not a chance in hell that I'm gonna even attempt to storm Hyrule Castle without ancient arrows. Like, Hyrule Castle is going to be get the Koroks, get the shield, leave. <laughs> That's on a mission. I'm not even sure I can get that many ancient arrows, to be honest. I'm not sure I have the parts for it. In the US, you get 10 or 5 minutes TV, then 5 minutes of ads. You know, it's been that long since I've watched normal TV, I'm not sure what it's like in Australia. I think it wasn't the ads that put, put me off, it was just the fact that Every channel just became at least 50% reality TV shows. Yeah. Like, primetime Australian TV viewing is like renovation shows, cooking shows, um, and then some, you know, bad reality TV show. That's pretty much what it is. Or like Dancing with the Stars, yeah. Dance with Australia's celebrities. People that uh, don't really have any fame outside of Australia. Sorry. Uh, I shouldn't throw shade like that. But, I mean, some viewing experiences on Twitch is getting two ads back to back and just interrupting the flow of a conversation I'm having with the streamer. And then that happens every 15-ish minutes. That's how bad it is on Twitch right now. It's worse when it's live because you miss out on stuff. It's just... Wait, this is another stable. Or is it? No, it's not. Wow, did I just not see the Colosseum behind it? Anyway, doesn't matter. Okay. I'll make a few of these. I don't want to overdo it because we have to show... 10. Yeah, I have no experience with, like, any cable TV or... Um, just regular TV. I just haven't... Honestly, the last time I watched it, I think I was a teenager. That's how long ago it was. It's just, I was like, nah, I think I'm done with this for good. It's just, it's not great. It's kind of, uh, yeah, kind of trashy. I want that movement speed back.
think I think that should do. Oh no. Okay, let's get a pony out. Uh Right, so I mean just head up the road. That's just the easiest part. Hey. Yeah, hang on. Where's meat, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much get 300 rupees every time I come here. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. Okay, there we go. Huh? Oh. Take horse. Taking a pona. Mm -hmm. I mean, L to win is a good horse, it just doesn't go as quick as a pona. Wait, ads are in football are so frequent. Turns a one hour game into three hours, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not a sports person. Wait, is this anything? I don't know, see that leads, I mean that's, I guess that still falls under the area, but we're not doing that yet. Huh. Okay. Huh. Um. Huh. I'm gonna go to Hatino huh. to get more Sunshroom. And then we're going to Akala, so that's, I guess, the rest of what I'm going to do tonight. I think. Pretty sad. We'll see. At least the journey isn't that far this time. Whoa, blockade. deviated a little. <laughs> yeah. Just a tad. I think the other bit of TV that I've watched recently is just, uh, catching up on Better Call Saul, because that was, uh, wrapping up. I mean, other than that, it's just been just older shows or movies and anime. And then I guess stuff on Netflix every now and then, if it piques my interest. But even Netflix is just, I'm almost at the point where it's just it's not worth it. So I'm pretty much waiting for them to roll out that password sharing bullshit, so then I'll cancel it then, and then just make it a number where it's just like, oh no, we rolled out this annoying thing and this person cancelled. That won't be the reason I cancelled, but it'll look like it to them, and that's the important part. Wow, 
wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You two are having a discussion about a TV show called 600 Pound Life, which heard that name pop up, but then it's not to be confused with Thousand Pound Sisters. So they have two shows about morbidly obese people. Man, Americans. <laughs> I just had to pause there and just get the gravity of that statement there. No, no, you're confusing it with the other show about the fat people. The one where they weigh, weigh 400 pounds more. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I, no, I love this. I love the horse. I love being attacked and then the horse refusing to move. Hey! Let me just see if there's any quests here. Uh... Oh, I'm here. Oh, yeah, no, this is the treasure thing. Uh... You know what? I'll just do it. The little twin steps over the little river. My cave rests above that river source. Okay. I bet you already have it. I don't. Okay. Well. Whatever. I got the quest. Uh, hold on. Where are we going? Yeah, Fort Hateno is to the right. I'll stop in this forest as well because stamina, shrooms, and all that stuff. Oh yeah, and honey. Ah! Yeah, good, good. Double, double fight, double fight, yeah. One's not enough. Challenge the player. Trying not to hurt. It's okay. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, let's go. Oh. I was looking for you. Alright. Onwards to Hateno. There's also the, the dude with the, uh, the quest, which I guess I can resolve now. 
I'm not sure if I'll be able to do the, the Traveler's Sword thing with the kid. Just, <laughs> I haven't seen one. I thought, oh, maybe there'd be one in the village, but there isn't. It's just, okay. <laughs> no, yeah. I love, I love the horses. A reliable mode of transport. I'm holding the right analog- I'm moving the analog stick to the right, and it's still... The kid wants the wind cleaver, the biggest sword the Yiga have. But see, that's more acquirable, because the Yiga bother you a lot. That's fine. This Traveler's Sword, I haven't seen one. And it's a shitty weapon that I probably won't use. It's just... For the sake of showing this kid the weapon and nothing else. The biggest swordsman in the rat. Yeah, but I guess at least if I find one. Okay, I'm sorry, dude. What is your problem? You do this every time. I'm a traveler. You certainly appear to be highly unlike the rest of us. What? Really? <laughs> I think in master mode they're more common. That might be my experience from it as well. Keep that in mind. They might be more common. But at least when you find them, the sword is useful. It's like you could use it. The traveler's sword, I have no purpose for it. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Big spender. I'm, st I'm stocking up. I thought there would be a traveler's sword in town, and that's why I took the quest. I was hopeful. Hey, where's the, where's the stalker? Isn't he usually out here? Am I wrong? He's usually out here, isn't he? Oh, yo, you're here too. Convenient. I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, these are, these are the fields where I get rice, right? If I use my sword. Okay. Exchange for one. Uh, where are the the wings? 127. Just take them all, dude. They're just they're just so annoyingly common. Twenty will do. Look at how many moblin fangs I have. <laughs> Can 
Okay. It's a small monster ex extract. Yeah. So is this the... Is this where I get weight? Or am I wrong here? Doesn't seem to be happening. So I would say no. I was promised if I cut grass. I would get rice or wheat. I see neither. Okay, well. That's twice I've tried. Frogs. Where's the stalker? There you are. Got the goods. Okay. I thought you were just messing with me. Okay, so... Uh, ten. Yep, I'll take him. Yeah, I mean... He thinks he's gonna date her. I like how the horse just refuses to go at a higher speed in town. Sorry, I can't do that. It's common courtesy. You gotta be... Gotta be a upstanding citizen, you know? Yeah, doing the speed limit. Just such pristine design. Can't compliment it enough. Okay, hold up. I haven't actually gone in here. Is this anything? There's two trees here, but I kind of assumed there wasn't going to be anything here. Looks very NPC-like. Just figured it was worth a look. Didn't take a photo of the cow. Well, 
Well, this is where the branch off is anyway, so... We are here for the sunshroom. Which you would think would have grown back since last time I came here? I don't know. Gearing up for the next mountain I have to climb. Man, now I can't stop thinking about the burger. <laughs> I mean, I want a burger, but not... Not one that's gonna be like that, but I'll hold- I'll remain strong and hold out. And I'll report back. The five guys experience. <laughs> oh jeez, I could almost make it a segment and just talk about it for like five minutes or so. Hey, welcome to my review. Before we, uh get to the review, I want to say uh, thanks for subscribing and following. If you want to see more food reviews, just hit that bell, smash the scroll, uh, donate your firstborn child, and yeah. Well, without any further ado, let's get into it. Oh, dear. Hey, Shamblers, you know what time it is. It's time for another food review. <laughs> you have kids to donate? Oh, you have no kids to donate. I mean, I was going to ask, are they your kids or just kids in general to donate? It's just, uh, you have a child. Oh, okay. Oh, they're not my children. I'm just, just saying, if I, if the sacrifice needs to be made, <laughs> have access to a child. Oh, dear. I mean, even me saying some of the stuff I say for my own stuff. It's been hard to adjust to, to try and say it without, like, a... Almost like a bit of sarcasm. It's taken some adjustment. Because prior to this year, I all, pretty much never said it. I think once or twice, just to be ironic. The YouTube bell doesn't even work properly, chat. <laughs> you, you tell people to ring the bell, but the bell plays by its own its own rules. This has to be a traveler's sword somewhere in proximity to this village. <laughs> so that's all I had to do was talk to... Dude, we're out of town. Come on. Yeah.
I mean, I think I've been pretty thorough here, so I don't have to stress too much. Okay, so now we are heading to uh, Kala. Um, that's cool. I steered that way. And the horse did not go that way. I wish I could have one of those diagrams that appears on certain streams where it shows the buttons that I'm pressing. I'm gonna die. Because it's this horse! Oh god. This is bad. I might have to bail on the horse. I'm gonna have to bail on the horse. Where am I? I got lost. Some lake somewhere. Oaks Naval. Yeah, no, I, I admittedly fucked up here. I'm gonna have to abandon the horse. Don't worry, you will magically teleport to my next destination. We'll meet up there, Napona. Where am I? Okay, this is high ground. Alright, I know where I am. Was that a pony or was that another horse? Huh, you know what? I wonder if when they say bacon on the Five Guys burger, if they do it in the style of American bacon, or if it's like bacon, like here. Because if so, that's going to be one of the few times I've had like the crispy style. Because it's not, not really that common. You can get it, it's just, it's not, it's not common. Thankfully, there's a stable here, so... It sucks to get to the Akala region. Because the only way to get there... ...is to kind of go up and around. There's no real direct... Well, you know, travel. I, I get it, I can fast travel. Just... Talking about me and my problems right now. Get out of here. I probably should take the time. I mean, <laughs> that portrait. 
Oh dear. It's funny. Ah. Okay. Reunited. Okay, off we go. The long ride to Kala. Which, yeah. sorry, there's no other way to get there in a quick manner within the rules of what I'm doing. Just looking. Hold on. Just a sec. I just want to make sure I walk to this because... Yeah. I just saw a stone and I was worried. And it's something that I didn't get to. So, anyway. It's all good. Nice load. Oh boy. Don't stop, please. Thank you. Oh, that's like the instructor in Skyward Sword. <laughs> Your immune monitor doesn't have a working left speaker. Why include them if they don't work? Well, in an ideal world, that shouldn't be the case. I'm sure every speaker that's meant to be included with monitors is supposed to work. It's just... <laughs> depends who you buy from. Doing the right thing here. Yeah. Yes, okay. I mean, I don't know. For me, when it's 
Amazon, I don't see that as like a a badge of honor and a quality thing. It's just someone that sells stuff en masse. And they let some pretty questionable things get sold there. Often unchecked. I mean, questionable in terms of quality, not like questionable objects, to be clear. Off-brand stuff, I guess, is what I'm referring to. That's always in that... That's like the third time it's fallen in that direction, and it always falls into the water. And I can't get it. No, this time it actually fell somewhere. Alright, cool. I might be able to get it. It looks like it's right at the base of the tower. No. Just a little bit before the tower. That's fine. That's easy. The last couple of times, yeah, it's just... And a no go. I'll take a detour. It's fine. Wait a minute. Stop shining. Why? 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 Where is Beam? Did it roll? It rolled. I don't see the beam anymore. Yeah. Wasn't it here? Well, what happened? Yeah. It was right next to this tower. Where is it? Did it become daytime and it's gone? I don't think it did. What I had the worst luck when it falls over here. No, I hear it. Oh, it's just crickets chirping. What the? Oh, it, it must have rolled. It, it fell here, and it must have rolled somewhere. It's gone. It's gone again. It's not here. It's the third time this has happened to me. It falls here and it just ends up going into this fucking bog. Oh, jeez. I thought that was a cork, but it's just the one I found. What? It was... It was safe. What happened? It rolled into the water. That's what happened. Just... Ugh, this quadrant of the map sucks. <laughs> it just happens every time. Because it can't fall into the Lost Woods. Or if it does, I guess it's screwed. There's just... Several bodies of water that just... Destroy it, so... That's cool. Thanks for wasting my time. Okay. I, I guess I need to remove everything, huh? 
There we go. <laughs> if I was on foot, that would have killed me. I think. Aggressive lightning strikes. crabs everywhere. I definitely want these. These are stamina crabs. just vanish and reappear. Thank you. Oh, there's more. But no, this is great. I want more of these crabs. Stamina crab. Onwards! Huh. Halfway to a color. Sucks that you can't get Goron Spice in the other way without going to the Goron City. The, the, uh, the merchant, I've only seen the Aura one, so unless there's another one. Huh. Huh. Wait. Is it? No, it's down, it's down, it's down, it's down, 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 down. That way. There we go. No, wait, no, it's not. Oh, shit. Pop in on um, the town as well, and some down this way. Because that should be started now. And then it's a matter of getting the uh, various villages. I 
hate the proximity these guardians are in. Especially since the horse can just decide, nah, I'm gonna stop moving. I should pop into the town yeah. on the way back or yeah on the way back do it on the way back yeah. Yeah. I think I've gone a dumb way but we'll see as long as the horse can continue. Yeah, that's fine. back on the road. It'd be funny if I only get like 10 arrows from this. I hope I can get more than that, but I haven't exactly been killing guardians. I'm trying to think the last time I came here, like how many I've gotten since. Not that many. I mean, ah, uh, 20. I guess, I guess that's fine. could make this as well. But that's just for completionist sake, I guess. Are the ancient bows worth it? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Uh let's just leave it for now. It's not like I have room anyway. There's nothing else further to do here, I don't think. Miss the spot. I don't know. Huh. 
just seeing if there was anything visible that I can get as a quest. That was not. Okay. 20 ancient arrows. I guess... You gotta use them when, when it counts. Oh. Kinda took the wrong road. I'm supposed to take this one. That'll lead to the town. got a settlement going. I hope this counts as right. I'm not controlling a pona. Okay, that's fine. Counts as right. <laughs> that's cool, I guess. Okay, we're here. We meet again. I'm one of the Bolson construction contractors. The name's Hudson. I remember. <laughs> Me too. What are you doing? Since I've been transferred here, I've decided to build a town from scratch. Every village needs a name. I think I'll call it Tarrytown. Good idea. However, what's wrong? I built a house to store the village supplies in, but there just isn't enough. Enough what? Enough anything. People, money, stuff. I'll help out. But why? There's nothing in it for you. I don't mind. You're a lifesaver. Well, I suppose to get started, we'll need houses to people to live in. Can't invite people until we have homes. Think you can bring me ten bundles of wood? If you bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. Ooh. Got them. Sure. Mm. Next is... These boulders are driving nuts. I want to move them out of the way so we can develop the land underneath. You'll find some brute physical strength. Yeah, so I guess we could make a trip to, like, a Goron city. Must end in sun. Yeah. Okay. Well, chat, I'm gonna have to call it quits here. It's late, and uh, I do need to get rest. I have work in the morning. But thanks for tuning in and hanging out. It was, it was fun, as always. Uh... We'll return at the usual time-ish tomorrow once I'm done with work. So, yeah. Hope to see you then. In the meantime, you always have YouTube if you want to watch previous streams and whatnot. And if you are already watching on YouTube later, please consider doing um, algorithm stuff if you want to support what I do. But yeah. Alright, I'm going to bed. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you tomorrow.